the, the paycheck that I would save like 75% of and the remaining amount would be the amount that I would just put in my check-ins account for an emergency uh, for example if I needed pads your lady menstrual stuff something like that um and in order if you want if you have a goal uh to save money for me my goal ultimate goal was to save ten thousand dollars um and that was to per buy a car the car i'm in right now i wanted to save enough money for a down payment and enough money to where i can have a down payment and still be able to to live after i put down the down payment you have i think saving does not work if you don't have a goal a lot of times i used to save for emergencies i still have an emergency saving fund but if you have a goal that motivating you every day it works better as far as your saving habits so i wanted to speaking of which check your bank account every single day pocket watch yourself do you understand pocket watch yourself if you check your bank account every single day you're less likely you're less inclined to just spend frivolously if you constantly see those negatives coming out every day in terms of money we have no money you're like what am i doing myself the periods of my life where I spent the most money are where I went an extended period of time without having a look, look, see, just peeking in, peekaboo, get it, peekaboo, <laughs> peeking into my account just to see what I go on. You know, obviously this, this helps to not only spend less money, be, be watchful of what's in and what, what's coming in and what's coming out, but also in case of maybe a fraud or someone trying to scam you or something, you can easily look at it and notice it quick times, quick things, right? And beyond that, credit card usage. The credit card usage is what arguably takes most people into financial uh, stress or financial worry. Overall, the general consensus is you don't want to use more than 20% of your credit card at a given time without paying it off or paying it down. So let's say your overall limit is $1,000. Don't use more than $200. If it gets to the point where it may increase $200, pay it off or pay it down or um, or suspend the use of your credit card until you have money coming in to pay it off. Having your own self-imposed limit on your credit card balance will prevent you from splurging and spending beyond your actual means. In my opinion, you shouldn't be using a credit card unless you have at least three months, two or three months worth of expenses covered already. So if your rent is $1,000 and let's say maybe your overall monthly expenses is $1,500, I would recommend having at least 3,000 to maybe 4,500 saved up in your savings account the financial discipline that it takes to save that amount of money prepares you to use a credit card responsibly motivated dedicated motivated dedicated motivated dedicated and obviously the best way to save is by paying yourself first always pay yourself first any deposit ten dollars fifty dollars whatever you can afford to do just pay yourself first so you can set that precedence of living below your means because if you have a thousand dollars coming in and you own and you